Hello everyone, my name is Krish Mahajan and today I'll be talking about diversity. Have you all seen the Kung Fu Panda movies? In the movie, the protagonist Po is labelled as the fat panda. Everybody thought that his only purpose in the world was to eat and entertain. The Kung Fu community was very diverse. From grasshoppers to tigresses, it included various species of animals. Po was a huge fan of it. He defeated the size barrier ignored everybody's jibes about his size and joined his dream team. His secret weapon was nothing. He just embraced his awesomeness. From being an outcast, he realized his strength and thus he belonged. Speaking of belonging, here's something I made that now proudly belongs to our beautiful home. This beautiful drawing, look at its rich vivid colors. The orange looks magical. Yellow, its assistant, also added in the shading. The greens made a wonderful background. Every single one, except white. If white could talk, I am sure she must be saying yes. That's a colorful painting. But where am I? I can't see my share. Everyone always forgets about me. I don't think I belong here. I feel excluded. Much like how Po felt in the Kung Fu Panda when he was first told he was a warrior. Take a moment to go back your memories. Have you also felt left out like White or Po did? Have you ever felt out of place? Ignored? Not listened to? Felt excluded? If you have... I understand. These are big emotions and we all go through them at some point. However, I would like to show you a new perspective through White's example. White thinks she isn't given her due as a colour, but think about it. Have you ever seen a zebra without its white stripes? Have you ever drawn the night sky without its white twinkling stars? E. What do we see when we bring out our biggest grins? Our pearly white teeth? Of course. You see, while we like, white may feel like we don't fit in sometimes. The truth is, the world needs us. Yes, we need white as much as we need red or blue, green or black. Po may not have had muscles or look athletic, but at least he had single-minded persistence to achieve his goal. These examples highlight that it doesn't matter what our size, color of our skin, our gender or religion are. The only thing that matters is what we accept differences and enjoy the variety they bring. And this variety of people with different likes and dislikes isn't just restricted to our homes or our classrooms. The biggest example of great diversity is our own nation, India. There are eight major religions in the world. All of them, and more, are practiced in India. There are 1600 mother tongue languages and more than 100 dance forms there. Sounds amazing, right? But unfortunately, this diversity is not celebrated as often as it should be. Every one of us gets so lost in our differences that we fail to realize its strength. We often stereotype each other because of a rigid mindset. Stereotyping gives birth to discrimination. Examples that immediately come to my mind are the advertising of the female clothing and makeup. The advertisements show perfect body frames and leave the viewer aspiring for a fairer complexion. If one is not of a certain weight, the right complexion, then one does not belong. 
Stereotyping often leads to biases and prejudices, which can adversely impact diversity. Whew. After so much talking, I'm suddenly reminded of a pizza. Have you all been to a pizza party? We get to choose our favorite toppings and create a pizza that reflects our individual tastes. But we also share our pizzas with others and enjoy the unique flavors com and combinations that come from our collective efforts. So let's embrace our differences, share our unique flavors and create a world where everyone feels welcome at the table. I would like to conclude with a quatrain on diversity. Skin colors and cultures may differ, but we all are human. That's the trigger. We do not help by writing essays, poems, or even this, because only when diversity is celebrated, diversity is bliss. Like Po, the Kung Fu Panda who was ignored, rightly said, the only way for us to celebrate diversity is to embrace our awesomeness. Thank you.